Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm going to take a quick look at another little project that I've got uh, coming up. And it's a side project, I guess. It's version 2 of the self-balancing robot. So let's take a look. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a new sort of side project I suppose. I'm doing a version 2 of the self-balancing robot. My grandkids uh, love the little thing, can't get enough of it. So I'm going to build a couple, maybe you know, they could turn up at some point in time towards the end of the year. So I've had a good look at it and what I'm thinking is I'm going to get rid of the Arduino and uh, basically just uh, build everything onto a circuit board. I've done a previous video looking at Easy EDA and today I'm going to take a look at the project in Easy EDA, have a look at the schematic that I've come up with and take a look at the circuit board that I've designed. I've actually, I actually did this some time ago and the boards that I ordered have actually turned up. So still waiting on a few components to actually finish that off but it uh, won't be too long and we'll be able to actually see this stuff for real. I might uh, do a quick video tomorrow night uh, downstairs at the workbench and then just give you a look at the actual circuit board itself and how everything is looking. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Okay, well, here we are with the schematic for the self-balancing robot version 2. So as I said... Um, in the introduction, basically we're going to get rid of the Arduino, but still have an Arduino if this makes sense. Um, so what I'm doing is basically just grabbing the Atmega microcontroller and building that onto the circuit board with just the bits and pieces that are needed to essentially make up the Arduino. And on that same circuit board, we'll be giving room for mounting the drivers, the MPU, and also the Bluetooth module. So there's not a great deal to the circuit. If we look in the top section here, basically we've got the power supply. So what we need for the Arduino is a five volt power supply. So basically a connector for the battery, a connector to go off to the switch, some capacitors for decoupling, and a, a three terminal five volt regulator to get that five volts. Nothing overly complicated there. Now, dropping back onto the actual microcontroller itself, essentially what I've done is uh, created a little schematic, which is basically just the cut down version of bits and pieces that are needed for the basic level Arduino. And essentially, that's just the microcontroller, uh, crystal capacitors, a couple of other um, decoupling capacitors, and that's pretty much it. You'll note the uh, up here we have the Bluetooth communications module with its transmit and receive basically coming uh, straight over to the Arduino's uh, transmit and receive pins. Uh, we have that same voltage regulator arrangement for measuring the battery voltage, which is going into the same analog channel. The MPU, um, again, same, essentially the same pins that you would normally use for the Arduino for the communications. And uh, the motor drivers, we're using two different pins uh, this time. We're going to slightly change the uh, circuit. I've made allowance in the future for the use of an ultrasonic transducer that um, I have done some tests on in previous videos. They may or may not come into the fore, but anyway, I've, I've, I'm using a couple of different I.O. pins for the motor drivers because the pins that I need to use for the ultrasonic uh, measurement device. I'll be needing an interrupt there and I was using one of the lines that's needed for that interrupt. The other thing is I've made facility for two LEDs, one for ready and one for battery low. 
so one will be red and the other one will be green. The ready I didn't have on the uh, other device. If the kids are going to be using it, I sort of thought, well, best to have a ready. So when it, when it's laid flat and the robot is initialising itself and initialising the MPU, um, the light will be off. When the light comes on green, then they can tilt it up and it's ready to go and just a little bit easy to use. So that's it. That's the schematic. Um, nothing, nothing too out there in that. Okay, so here we are with the circuit board that I've designed. So in Easy EDA, once you've come up with a schematic, you can convert it to a board layout and it will just drop all of the um, components um, onto this canvas and then you just basically drag them to where you want them and uh, there's an auto router which will try and auto route the tracks for you it's better if there's method to your madness in the layout of the actual board you'll note that uh, some of the tracks are very much wider than the rest of the tracks and what I did was place everything in what I thought was sensible locations, components near where they, they need to be and the like, and lining up um, components so it looks as neat and tidy as possible and things like that, putting the Bluetooth and the MPU away from the higher current uh, devices. And then I let the auto router um, route the lines as, as it wanted to and then came back and had a look at it and selected the lines that I knew were going to be carrying higher currents and basically widened them and just adjusted them so that things um, fitted as nicely as possible. And this is basically the layout. The actual board size uh, ends up being so what are we looking at we're looking at about 92 millimeters by 67 millimeters so needless to say we've made a big reduction in the size of the actual board it's um you know it's more like the size of an Arduino um, Uno board um, than the size of the old robot. So that's basically the, the layout. Um, MPU here, Bluetooth board here, the microcontroller uh, here, the two motor drivers uh, laid out here, um, connectors for power, power supply and switch, the power supply up the top here. Um, still got the reset button on board and the crystal um, here and the LEDs I've actually shown them here however look they may well end up being uh, connectors and the LEDs actually uh, being uh, fitted to the case somewhere I'm just not 100% sure on that yet but um, essentially that's the circuit board Okay, so there you go. Now, hopefully the bits and pieces won't take too long to turn up and we can actually finish this thing fairly quickly. Um, I've already done some work on building an enclosure or designing an enclosure to print out as well. So everything's pretty much ready to go, just waiting on a couple of components to turn up. Anyway, look, if you like what I'm doing, please do hit the like. If you want to see more, then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the chime so you get notified when I'm actually publishing more videos and um, I've got the website up and running so you can take a look at what's going on on the website and of course there's the Facebook page as well. Okay cheers for now.